Analytical Chemistry 2.0 by David Harvey. Chapter 3. The Vocabulary of Analytical Chemistry. If you leave through an issue of the journal Analytical Chemistry, you will soon discover that the authors and readers share a common vocabulary of analytical terms. You are probably familiar with some of these terms, such as accuracy and precision, but other terms, such as analyte and matrix may be less familiar to you. In order to participate in the community of analytical chemists, you must first understand its vocabulary. The goal of this chapter, therefore, is to introduce you to some important analytical terms. Becoming comfortable with these terms will make the material in the chapters that follow easier to read and understand. Section 3a. Analysis, Determination, and Measurement. The first important distinction we will make is among the terms analysis determination, and measurement. An analysis provides chemical or physical information about a sample. The component of interest in the sample is called the analyte, and the remainder of the sample is the matrix. In an analysis we determine the identity, concentration, or properties of an analyte. To make this determination we measure one or more of the analyte's chemical or physical properties. An example helps clarify the difference between an analysis, a determination, and a measurement. In 1974 the federal government enacted the Safe Drinking Water Act to ensure the safety of public drinking water supplies. To comply with this act, municipalities regularly monitor their drinking water supply for potentially harmful substances. One such substance is fecal coliform bacteria. Municipal water departments collect and analyze samples from their water supply. They determine the concentration of fecal coliform bacteria by passing a portion of water through a membrane filter placing the filter in a dish containing a nutrient broth and incubating for 20 to 24 hours at 44.5 plus or minus 0.2 Celsius. At the end of the incubation period they count the number of bacterial colonies in the dish and report the result as the number of colonies per 100 milliliters. Figure 3.1 Thus, municipal water departments analyze samples of water to determine the concentration of fecal coliform bacteria by measuring the number of bacterial colonies that form during a carefully defined incubation period.